Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to very efficiently distribute learning material to your students. So this is through an extension on Jupyter Hub called NP Kit Puller. So basically how this works is a student clicks a link and the GitHub repository is cloned into their Jupyter Hub home folder. So just into this home folder they have on JupyterHub. So I'm going to show you how to construct this URL. So basically you need your uh, like base URL and that will simply be our uh, JupyterHub instance here. And let's just construct it here together. And then we have uh, repo that's basically your github of the learning material you want to distribute and I'm just going to use this one here that I found and it's basically just a intro to Python and all these uh, data science libraries so let's copy that right here also you can also define a subpath so that basically opens uh, a notebook you have. Let's say you have like one week, you have a certain notebook you want them to read. Uh, then you can use subpath. And so let's define also a subpath. And let's just use some notebooks here. Uh, language, uh, intro. And then you can see the basically path over here. I just copy that. Let's copy that. This subpath. And so now we can also copy this URL and start constructing our URL. All right. So the base URL that we have here will just be this this part. Yeah, let's just copy, copy this part. And then we have a user redirect, git pull, repo. Then we have our repo URL that we've defined here. So let's just copy that real quick. Then we can have a branch if we want, but we're not using a branch and it also defaults to a master, so we don't have to use it and yeah you can also if you're using Jupyter Lab you can use that we're just gonna use a notebook and here we have the subpath all right then our URL is ready so then I can just paste it here now it uh, clones it for me and sends me to the subpath that we defined. Now when you think about it, this is very handy for people who are not familiar with Git, like first year students or people from other fields. Now we're going to try the URL without the subpath. And as we can see now, then it's yeah, sending us just to the base folder of the cloned repo. Now a quick note, there are some merging behaviors which you have to be aware about, like if the contents are changed in both places, they prefer the local changes over the remote ones. And here is a file, file was deleted locally but present in the remote, remote file is restored to local repository. This allows users to get a fresh copy of the file by deleting it locally and clicking the link again. So the student can do that if if they want a fresh copy or if they if the teacher says they really need to get the newest version. So that's it. Now you just can use this URL and update your GitHub and the student can use the same link to update his learning material through the whole semester. So that's it guys, good luck.